Hello there. These bottles contain engine oil, and in this video, I'll show you how to check there's the right amount of it in a Vauxhall Corsa D. Why bother? Because the engine can be damaged if there isn't enough oil or if there's too much. Isn't that ironic? Welcome to Cash by TV. Right, step one is to take the car for a drive that's long enough to get the engine to full operating temperature. Next, park the car on level ground, then wait at least five minutes for the oil to settle in the engine. We now need to open the bonnet and find the engine oil dipstick, which is that thing there. Next, remove the dipstick, like so, and once the dipstick's out, grab a cloth and clean it, and what we're doing now is removing any oil that might give a false reading, and once the dipstick's clean, replace it in the engine, and make sure it goes all the way down. Give it a moment and then take the dipstick out one more time. Now look at the tip of the dipstick for these minimum and maximum markers. Next, check how high the oil rises on the dipstick relative to those markers. For example, here. Bear in mind though, that some Vauxhall courses of this era have a different dipstick to the one I'm showing you in this video. Don't worry if that's your scenario, you can still take a reading in much the same way. Naturally, you'll need to add oil if your car's below minimum, but how do you know what type? Well, there's a recommendation in the owner's manual. Here are those pages. Now the recommendation is based on which country you live in, how cold it gets in that country, and what type of fuel your vehicle requires. Let's use my Vauxhall Corsa as the example. My car lives in the United Kingdom. It gets no colder than minus 25 degrees Celsius, and it has a petrol engine. On this basis, the recommended oil quality is Dexos 2, and one of the recommended viscosities is SAE 5W30. In simple terms, viscosity refers to the thickness of the oil. Now, if you do need to add a little oil, it's very simple. Just find the oil cap which is this yellow one here, that rather conveniently says oil on it. Then undo said cap and pour the oil down there. Then of course, wait a little while for the oil to make its way through the engine. Then check the level is correct via the dipstick. In contrast, if your course's engine contains far too much oil, you'll need to remove some to minimize the chance of damage. And one of the ways to do that is to remove a plug from the bottom of the engine and let some of the oil pour out. You'll get messy, but it works. Alternatively, if your car's like mine, it will naturally lose oil over time because it leaks like a sieve. Oh dear. Anyway, that's it, but before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Car Spy TV. That makes it easier to find my other content. Can you also please do me a favor and click like on this video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.